Okay, hi there. Uh, welcome to a short video looking at the concepts of the mean and the median. Uh, these are the two averages required in the A-level economics exam syllabus. So let's just take a quick look for a few minutes at mean and median household income uh, for the UK. First of all, the mean value for household income. Well, that's income per household. And if it's a single person household income per capita, and the mean income value answers the question, if income would be equally distributed to all people, how much would everybody earn? Uh, so essentially it takes the, the total income of, of households and divides, divides to get an income per household. Now, the mean does not reflect the underlying inequality in a data set of household incomes. That's one of the key constraints, one of the key limitations. The median household income is a different way of looking at things. Uh, it's the income level at the midpoint, halfway house, if you like, of all households, ranked or arranged by their income. And uh, basically, uh, it answers this question, what does the person earn who, who earns exactly more than 50% and less than 50% of the population? It's the midpoint value. And we tend to use the median when the data is skewed and there's basically outliers. For example, people with super high incomes that tend to drag up the mean value and make it less useful. The median income is the income that divides the population into two equal groups, half having an income above and half having an income below. So in the top left example there, the median will be six. We have three either side. Oftentimes uh, you have uh, a split there, so the median would be four plus five divided by two. Four point four point five would be the median in the third example in the second example there. So the median crucially is that middle value in an income distribution. Fifty percent below, fifty percent above. Well, in the UK, um, the mean household disposable income in two thousand and nineteen. This is the latest data I can find was uh, just over £35,500. Substantial amount of income there. Uh, what about the median? Do you think it's higher or lower than the mean? Well, the median in the UK was £29,600 in 2019. So the mean is substantially above the median, as it is, in fact, for all of the leading high-income countries for which data is produced. And here's the figures for the UK, you can see here the distribution of uh, what's called equivalised disposable income. They make a little adjustment for household size. So somebody with a, a family of, let's say, five or six people is going to need a higher income than somebody perhaps living on their own. That's what the word equivalised means. But you can see that the distribution on this chart is skewed towards lower income groups on the left-hand side. And that's why mean income is, is over £6,000 bigger or larger than median income in the UK. What tends to happen, of course, is that the people on high incomes drag up, drag up the mean, and it's significantly higher than the median. If uh, Bill Gates, the multi-billionaire, uh, Bill Gates walked into a bar with, let's say, 10 people, um, then everyone inside, on average, using mean income, would instantly become a millionaire. Of course, they wouldn't be millionaires, but according to the mean average, if there were 10 people or 11 people in the room, Bill Gates' super high income and wealth would be sufficient to make everybody effectively millionaires in the process. So there we go. There is a quick recap, a quick look at mean and median income. Okay, thank you.